All right, you mobile application developers, welcome back. In this video series, we'll be learning how to build beautiful mobile apps using Kiwi Material Design, also known as Kiwi MD in short. Kiwi MD is just a Python package that has been created using our classic Kiwi package. Mobile applications created using Kiwi MD somewhat look like this. And by the end of this video series, you will be able to create such apps on your own. As you can see, they have beautiful elements, nice to look at color themes and amazing navigation utilities. To be honest, if you want to create mobile applications using Python, Kiwi MD is the way to go. One of the reasons apps created using Kiwi MD look so good is that they follow the material design principles. So what exactly is material design? Material design is a set of rules in design that Google itself has laid down. It includes what kind of colors you're supposed to use, what your elements like buttons are supposed to look like, and how your user interface should interact with the user, and much more. If you want to know more about it, you can just go to material.io slash design. And actually, I would highly recommend going through this a little bit because as developers, we often neglect the design part. But in my experience, it's often helpful if a developer knows what goes on behind the scenes in designing, and especially if you are creating your own project. And before we get started with coding, we need to set up some things. So the first thing we need is obviously Python. So you can go to python.org slash downloads and don't download the Python 3.8 version because it currently doesn't support Kiwi. So what I would recommend is download a low version 3.7 or 3.6 and my favorite is 3.6. So you can scroll a little bit more down and just find Python version 3.6. So it will be somewhere in July 3.619. This is my favorite Python version. So just download that. And then for the editor, I'm using PyCharm. So I'm just gonna download the community version and you can also download it, it's free. So you can go to jetbeans.com slash PyCharm and slash download. And I'm just gonna be using the community version, which is free. So you follow along, you can also download it. And then the last prerequisite that we need is the playlist of Kiwi. So if you go to the playlist, you'll be able to find this playlist called Kiwi Tutorials. Obviously, we're talking about the build with Python channel. And if you open up this Python Kiwi tutorial, you'll be able to see that at the last, there is some videos, six, seven videos, which are titled as Kiwi Python Basics. So from tutorial 17 to tutorial 22. And these basic Kiwi tutorials are actually required to learn Kiwi MD because Kiwi MD is itself a part of Kiwi. And if you don't understand Kiwi a little bit, you won't be able to understand Kiwi MD properly. So you can also follow along the rest of the videos if you want to learn how to build a game or have a more better understanding of how Kiwi works. But the minimum requirement is that you should at least do tutorials from 17 to 22, which are titled as Kiwi Python Basics. And after you have downloaded the PyCharm editor from over here, then you can open up your PyCharm. It will somewhat look like this. Then you can just go to file and then just create a new project over here and just call your project whatever you want. I've called my project as KV MD Basics. So you can just call yourself that. And then over here, you can just select the interpreter you want. So for example, if you have multiple versions of Python installed, you can choose the version you want. So for example, this is my Python 3.6. Python version and this is my Python 3.8 but I'm not going to be using that so I'm just going to be using my Python 3.7 version that I have installed and then just click on create and we'll create a new project for you just like I have over here and then to create a Python file you can just right click over here click on Python file and then just call the Python file whatever you want I've just called it over here main.py file and then to install Kiwi, you can go to file, go to settings, and then go to your project and Python interpreter and make sure a Python version is selected over here. If you don't see a Python version selected over here, you can just go to settings, click on show all, and then click on this plus icon and you can just navigate and see what kind of Python versions are available over here. And then you can just select a Python version over here by just clicking on this drop down and adding it to your interpreter. And then to install Kiwi, you can just click on this plus icon. As you can see, I've installed a lot of stuff over here, including Kiwi and Kiwi MD, as you can see over here, and some of the dependencies that Kiwi requires. So we are just going to click on this plus icon over here. And first, we are going to just search for Kiwi. So first, we need to install this Kiwi and then this Kiwi depths dot angle and then Kiwi dot depths dot glue and then Kiwi depths G streamer and Kiwi depths SDL2. So these are all the requirements that Kiwi has. So after installing all of them and make sure you don't download the dash dev versions you just download the versions that are without dash dev 
And then after installing these five Python libraries, what I want to do is I want to install KVMD. So I'm just gonna search for KVMD. Then I'm gonna select this KVMD and click all install package. And after we have installed everything, we can just close all of this down. And over here we can type in import KVMD to see if it works. So we're just gonna type in Kiwi and if KVMD appears over here and doesn't give us an error, that means we have properly installed KVMD inside our Python. Now to create a mobile app, first we need to add the app functionality that is inside KVMD. So what we are going to do is we are just going to write from kvmd.app, we are going to take the MD app functionality and this will help us in creating an app. And then we are just going to create a class and over here we are going to give the app name or our mobile application name. So for example, if your app name is uh, health app, you just call it health app over here. So I'm just going to call it demo app for right now. And then we are going to inherit all the functionality that is inside MD app inside our class so we are just going to write md app over here and then after creating this class of demo app we need to build this app so we are going to create a method inside this called build and this build method is automatically recognized by kiwi so we don't have to worry about that and it takes this parameter of itself and then inside this we are just going to return nothing so for right now we are not going to show anything on our screen in the next video we're going to get started with adding labels or text inside our screen but for right now we are just going to show an empty screen and then after building the app we want to run the app so how do you run the app in kiwi md you just write demo app and it's kind of the same way you run the app on kiwi you just write the class name and and then you just write dot run and that's pretty much it and then to format everything properly if you are using pycharm you can press ctrl alt plus l and will make sure that everything looks good so now let's run the main dot pi app and see how it looks so now you can see we have created our first app window and it has an app name of demo so if you change the name of the app to something else over here it will show the title differently so guys this is pretty much it for this video if you want the github link so any video that i create will have notes and a lot of links so for example in this video Video, we had this material.io link if you want to check out the code or any kind of links that i discussed in this video what you can do is you can go to github.com and slash athreya bhat slash kvmd dash basics and this will take you to the kvmd folder structure so right now we are at first tutorials that is introduction and the first app so you can just open up notes.txt and you can see all the links that are relevant over here so now you can also check out the source code by clicking on main.py file so that if you have written anything wrong, you can just copy and paste this by clicking on this draw button. And this will give you the raw content. We can just copy and paste this inside your Python file. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn how to add labels and text and how to change colors and all that cool stuff. So I'll see you in the next video.